So this is the third time that I'm doing this video because a lot of stupid things happen and I uh, screw up. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can pick up objects like this and uh, throw them around. I guess uh, walk with them, do whatever. You can sprint, you can walk, you can do whatever. And um, this, you can see this in the stealth kit that I made. Um, but I fixed the glitch where um, when you go through walls, um, it basically, the object goes through the wall, and instead of going through the wall, it's gonna hit the wall and the object is gonna fall down. Um, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's basically, you can use the script, you can use the script in your uh, video games now, because um, it's, I guess, it's fully done, it doesn't have a lot of uh, glitches, etc. Um, it's, I guess, fully function functioning. Also, some objects you can throw far, you can't really throw at all, like the box, because it's supposed to be heavy and you're not supposed to be able to throw it. So, yeah. Um, I guess the script, um, the script is pretty simple, um, and uh, I'm gonna show you. In this video, I'm gonna focus on um, not um, explaining that much, but showing you how you can implement it and what for example settings to add what things to set in your inspector and what so and um i guess yeah so i'm doing this video the voice post i'm not doing it during the video so it might be a bit weird from the other videos but i guess um you just have to deal with it this video so yeah basically um here are all of the um um what they're called the uh variables you have the public transform player you have the um player camera, the throw force, the player is basically, it checks the range um, with the player object, the player transform, and the um, game object's position. Uh, the player camera, um, I guess the camera is used so we attach, we parent the throwable object to the camera so it follows the camera's position and everything. And um, the throw force is basically the force we multiply the add force um, to the rigid body so we can throw the object. You set it in the inspector, I think. Um, the, this bool has player checks if the player is in the range so he can pick up the object. The being carried bool, it, um, how do I say, um, it, it, che it checks if the uh, object is being carried or not. The audio clip array, sound to play, it's just an array that we use to play the sounds when we throw the object. The int damage, we do not use that currently because um, I, as you can see in my stealth kit uh, tutorial video, uh, the stealth kit video where I showcase it, you, I hit the cameras and it deals damage to them. Basically here we don't have anything to deal damage to. I'm going to do that in a different video for you guys, so uh, yeah. Um, private bool touched, this checks if we're carrying the object and if we touch another wall, the object will not go through it, but it will fall down. In the start function we just get the component of the audio source. So here, um, we make a distance float where we check the distance between the game object that we want to pick up and the player. And if that distance is less or equals to 2.5, has player is true, so it's available to be picked up. Else, it's we cannot pick it up. So if the if the object is able to pick up, able to be picked up, and um, we click the input button use, which I made the positive button E in the input settings. I guess you can do that by yourself. Just go to input settings and make a new use input. Make the positive button E. So the rigid body is kinematic true. Um, I made it. I made it true so because um, if it's uh, not true and, and we parent it to our camera, it's basically just gonna fall down. So um, we make the parent of the transform the player camera so it follows the camera around. And being carried is true because we're carrying it. So if we're carrying the object, um, if this if touched, that's the bug I fix bug I used to fix um, the object going through the walls. I'll show you that later. But if we click the mouse button, the kinematic is false, the transform parent is null, and we're not carrying it anymore because we're actually going to throw it. And we throw it by adding the force to the rigid body that's not a kinematic anymore, so it gets affected by gravity. And we add the force in the player cam's uh, forward direction, and we multiply that throwing force by the throw force we um, stayed in, in in the inspector. Uh, the random audio, that's just a function that I made that plays random audio when we throw the object. 
So uh, yeah, that's pretty simple. Else if we click the right mouse button, it basically just drops the object. It does everything like the first input, but um, it, it doesn't add any force, it just gets dropped. So I guess, um, yeah. Um, another thing, the random audio, it basically just plays the random range of the of the arrays on uh, a random array, random part of the area you can call it like that that you state in an inspector. And this void on trigger enter part, um, basically I have two colliders on the object that I want to throw. One is a regular collider, and the other one is a collider with a trigger. And basically that trigger it touches something else, and if it's being carried while it touches something else, touched equals true, and it just falls down. Now, why I don't use on collision enter? Because that way I would have one trigger. Is because the is kinematic. If a um, rigid body isn't kinematic, it isn't affected by collisions, so it doesn't detect them, so you can't use them. So here, basically, if the if touched is true, it just falls down. So how you do it in action is uh, you basically let's see. I wanted to check the yeah the box medium, so. Basically, for the box medium, um, I just added a box collider and another box collider, which is the trigger that I talked to you about. So basically, that checks if I'm touching a wall. I add a rigid body, which uh, the mass is 5. You can play around with the values, but for heavier objects, I, for example, put mass 5 and the throw and an audio, another audio source, and I put the throw force at 200, so you can't really throw it that far because it's not, supp not supposed to be thrown that far because it's heavy um, the um, the things now that we yeah the player um, I've put the first person controller there so the control used to move and everything um, that's the that's the thing that goes there and for the player camera you put the player camera there because the object is gonna get parented uh, to the camera and it's basically gonna follow the camera and it's gonna get shot in front of the camera um, I'm gonna show you, yeah, so basically it's gonna be held like that in front of the camera, it's gonna be thrown in front of the camera. Um, so another thing, well the throw force, yeah you can play around with that, and the sounds to play is the array of the sounds, and the damage, um, basically we're not using that currently, so I, it's gonna be done for a different video, so uh, yeah, um, basically I guess that's it. Um, that's all the things I might show you. Might show you it, show it to you in action again. It can be used to solve a bunch of puzzles, which I really like. It's a fully functioning script. You can use it however you like. You can, um, I guess, edit it. Just give props to the original creator. And uh, yeah, so I guess thank you for watching, guys. If you liked the video, if it helped you, if you're gonna use the script, I recommend i hope you like like the video and subscribe for future videos you also give me some feedback on the script if it is good or not maybe give me some bugs errors that you're having if you have any questions post them and uh, yeah i guess that's it um i guess thank you for the 400 plus subscribers that we have it's crazy we're going growing really fast which i can't thank you enough the next video is going to be the car version 2 video because a lot of people are having problems with the first car video and um yeah that's it